always well worth a visit. Now, next up, we're meeting a real-life lady of the manor who, for the first time, is allowing the public into previously unseen parts of her house. Combermere Abbey in Cheshire has nearly 900 years of history. Its current owner, Sarah Callender Beckett, has spent much of the last 20 years raising money to restore it and carrying out the work. It's nearly complete, and Paul Crone has been to take a look. a Cistercian monastery, a Tudor manor house and a Gothic country house. Now after 20 years of renovation by the owner and sole heir to Combermere Abbey estate, the full extent of this Cheshire hidden gem can be seen by the general public. It's terribly important that people know about the history of this land. They don't get taught it in schools, but they can feel it. And these houses have energy, they welcome people, People used to, these houses were full of people for hundreds of years. It's good to teach them the challenges facing people about keeping these houses going. Restoring the Abbey hasn't been easy or cheap. You can't just pop down to your local DIY superstore. And when guests that have stayed here include the Duke of Wellington and the Empress of Austria, any work done has got to be right. The structure is complex. Um, it's taken us a huge amount of perseverance. It's been obviously financially um, daunting, but I think um, the vision is that a house like this um, needs to be looked after. And if you're going to accept the responsibility to look after it, it's got to be done. It's got to be done well. Now, when the Duke of Wellington visited here in 1820, Lord Combermere wanted to make sure that everything was just so. So he built him his own drive, his own ballroom and his own lodge. Some going. I had no pressure to take it on. I could have said no because I have other sisters. But I just felt that oh, I like the challenge. I'm quite good at a challenge. And actually, I just felt it was worth it. A hidden gem indeed, but I wouldn't fancy mowing the lawns. Paul Crone, ITV News, Cheshire. <laughs> 